Hello everyone and welcome back to another instalment of our Portuguese barn conversion series. Thanks again to all the people who commented yet again, supporting comments to us. They're just amazing and they're really uplifting and we're feeling way more positive, aren't we? We are, we are definitely feeling way more positive. It has been rather insane these past few weeks. Such a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> I think when you're working like 16 hour days and not sleeping as much as you should be sleeping, things get on top of you but hopefully things are on the up and we're going to get this roof done fairly soon we're the indie project b and theo and we've been living and traveling the world in vans for the past six years we're currently renovating an abandoned stone barn in portugal to turn it into a beautiful tiny home for us and our cat gingy bear follow our journey from the very beginning as we document the whole process of creating an off-grid home I'm feeling really positive and we've managed to get super lucky this week. November seems to be turning out to be a really wet month. We've spent every winter here since 2017 and this one's got to be the wettest November so far but we've got four days of clear weather, no rain to come so we can really get cracking on with the roof and I'm really hoping that by the end of the week we'll have all of the tiles on.
Theo's done a fantastic job with the tractor. It's already the best item we've ever owned. <laughs> He's pretty much cut all of the grass all the way down here. And now that means that we've got loads of lovely dead grass that I'm basically raking up. And I'm gonna take a couple of piles up to the chickens because they love to have a good rummage in this stuff. It's full of bugs, seeds, little bits of greenery, it's great. No matter what time of year it is, walking up that hill always works up a sweat and I don't know if you can tell but my glasses are trying to steam up which is brilliant because it means I can see really really well. So my beautiful chickens are behind me, I don't know if you can see them but they're all grown up now, they're going to be starting to lay eggs soon, definitely, definitely Sage and Birdie girls and definitely Mary and Betty are boys so I'm going to give them some good old foraging stuff because they love to go around and dig up things and see what there is. They've seen the, the wheelbarrow, they know I've got something, so let's give them this grass. Oh, now that's a lovely sight. The chickens are straight in there. I had to throw it over the edge because the wheelbarrow doesn't fit through but Sage is in the back and we've got Betty and Mary and Birdie already digging into the compost which is brilliant, gives them something to do. So I'm just doing some uh, maintenance on the tractor grass cutter, brush hog, whatever you want to call it. Is that what it's called? A brush hog? A brush hog. <laughs> Americans call it different to Canadians and then English have their terms as well. I've heard funny names in Portugal as well but yeah, it's a grass cutter essentially. It cuts grass. I call it the swingy chain. <laughs> <laughs> but basically this is the best investment ever because I went out for two and a half hours yesterday and I achieved so much and I'm going to go back out tonight just before the sun goes down. I'm just doing a little bit of maintenance, just cleaning it all out, keeping it nice and fresh because when the grass is wet it does get clogged up a little bit so it's good to keep it in good condition. Well, I just can't wait to get back out on it. You need to change your, your t-shirt to tractor life instead of van life. Tractor vibes. <laughs> Theo's got in his hand right now an incredibly technical device called the Jibby Jabber. This cost me 20 euros from a tractor supply store here in uh, Portugal and I think it was well worth it. <laughs> Looks really like a stick, <laughs> it really does. But, but it's not is it? It's not a stick. I definitely didn't get ripped off no. that's for sure. But Fernando's helping me. <laughs> You love to hang out under there. <laughs> you know how you get wives and girlfriends who lose their partners to like, what's that game? COD, Call of Duty and Fortnite and all that sort of stuff. Well, I've pretty much lost my partner to tractor life and he's literally every evening before the sun sets out there on his tractor and he's off again. <laughs>
Today has been a lovely day. It's the first day in maybe a week, maybe longer, that we've had sunshine, actual sunshine. Things have dried out. Theo's out on the tractor. <laughs> He's out on the tractor even if it's not sunny, but it means that we've got hope. We need to have our fingers crossed because the Veluxes are going to be going in next and we need dry weather for that. We're going to have two holes two quite big holes in our roof and we don't want it to rain. Oh no, we don't. He's, he's holding my heels. I guess he wasn't doing a very long cutting session tonight after yesterday. <laughs> Either way, I think he's happy with it. Woo! What? You have never been on it. I'm not going on that. Come on. Are you serious? Oh my God. I don't know why Theo seems to think this is a good idea, but he really wants me to try out the tractor, which I'm terrified about. I know I'm going to stall it. I don't even know how tractors work. I'm fairly sure it's manual. My glasses are steaming up out of fear. This is not... I'm really scared. <coughs> you need to teach me how to do it. I can't wait to see Bee driving the tractor. She's watched me drive it loads and she deserves a go. Uh, the seat's missing a bolt, I need to fix that. <laughs> but yeah, it's really simple. It's like driving a really old school car. Guys, Bee's driving the tractor, this is amazing. She looks terrified. She's doing a good job, she's doing a really good job. And look who's following behind. Fernando is always in tow. But yeah, she's doing well. For her first time, she's doing great. No problems yet. But she has to find, rev she's got to find reverse now. So it looks like I've just lost my tractor because B doesn't seem to want to get off it. <laughs> B has been so scared to go on the tractor and now she's straight on it, doing absolutely amazing. Maybe we can get a cut in some grass in one of the videos. That would be uh, entertaining because that's a little bit more tricky, but it's not too hard once you get the hang of it. I was just on my way to put the chickens to bed and I spotted the sky. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful sunset tonight. The whole sky is just gorgeous and the clouds are lovely and pink. It is so lovely to watch the property evolve. It's turning from a barn into a home. There's no denying it. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's still work ongoing. It's always going on, but eventually it's gonna be a lovely home. And it's really inspired me to be creative and finally make a map of our property, which I'm gonna be putting on our Patreon. And that actually leads me on to today's sponsor. I'd like to say a big thank you to Skillshare, who have sponsored today's video. Now, if you don't know what Skillshare is, it's a fantastic online learning community with thousands of classes in so many different subjects. All you need is a phone, a laptop, or a tablet. And you can access all these different classes in so many different subjects. Me personally, I'm currently doing the vector illustration, drawing with the pen tool, Skillshare original class by Scott Martin which is perfect for me because it's teaching me how to take my hand-drawn sketches and import them onto my laptop and turn it into a really cool digital map. It's something that I have zero knowledge in <laughs> and I'm actually really enjoying it so far. I'm feeling quite clever because it's always fun to learn new stuff and actually speaking of learning new stuff if you're interested we have a limited amount of free Skillshare premium passes for our viewers there's a link in the description like I said there's only a limited amount and you can give it a whirl try it out completely for free and if you do want to continue on a Skillshare premium membership works out at less than $10 a month so it's a really good deal and you can learn as much as you want now I'm really excited to get this map finally done because it's been on my mind for a really long time
in. It is amazing what a bit of elbow grease can do. Look at this space. It's huge. We've got so much room for activities. <laughs> <laughs> and check this out. This baby of a tree here. This is a pine. And what happened is this was all a broom forest. As you saw before, we chopped it down. Insane broom forest. And it sheltered these small little trees and allowed them to get through a crazy Portuguese summer. So they're now at a good size where we can leave them. They can get some sun. They can grow up nice and big like one all day, the other pine yeah, trees. One day they'll be just like those beasts. <laughs> and then if you come over here, you'll see the amount of space that we've got I now. cannot get over the space that is here. Look at that olive tree. I never even knew that olive tree was here. So there's an olive there. There's a cork here. I love that. And then we have loads more baby pine trees that are going to need <laughs> transplanting we can keep some of them but at the moment these three are too close together so maybe get rid of the middle one yeah definitely the middle one because it's really small and those two on either side are quite good size so i reckon they're gonna thrive and then up here i'm thinking because of the amount of space we've got and it's quite open here i can test out my new stone skills and build a nice stone ring fire pit. We've always a, wanted a fire pit, haven't we? Yeah, with a path going up to the house. The house looks huge from this angle as well. It's kind of crazy. It does, and then we've got like a kind of dying olive tree here. I love this olive tree. I want to wrap it with fairy lights, make it a proper feature. It's got some fresh shoots growing on it, which is interesting at the bottom, but also up here on the main bit of the tree. Yeah, this is a new olive tree growing out the bottom, basically. <laughs> and all of this will become green grass where I can use my tractor to my heart's content and just make it look beautiful. So we decided to hire another two laborers for a couple of days to get the drainage ditches dug for the system that is going in around the barn. It's super important to do drainage, especially because we are on quite a steep hill and all the runoff of the 
water can go into the back of the barn. So we're gonna re-divert that. We're gonna have French drains. We're gonna have a proper system, which is gonna be really good. They've dug the drainage ditches either side, and then the back is the most important part that we need to do next. That's where the French drains are going to go. And then there'll be piping all the way down here. We'll have our gray water coming through this hole and out and piped down to the bottom of the land. But you can see the ditch is quite big and quite long and we hit quite a lot of stone. So I had to come out with the jackhammer and get rid of that. But that's a good thing because this barn is set on so much solid stone. It's a really good foundation. It's not going anywhere for many, many years to come. If you're wondering why we don't just hire a digger, one, they're quite expensive, and two, we wanna be quite sensitive with this area. There's lots of stones, as I mentioned, sticking out of the barn that are actually connected to the barn and part of the barn's foundation. So if we go easy and we do it with a spade, a pickaxe and stuff like that, we can be a lot more gentle around the foundations of the barn. The last thing I want is a digger going in all guns blazing and dig out a big stone that brings a wall down or does some damage and that really wouldn't be good at this stage of the project. And Gingy is absolutely loving this freshly cut area. It's a lot of stuff to look into and sniff and smell. And of course, when I put the camera on her, she runs away. Oh, and look who it is. <laughs> it's Fernando. He is obsessed with Gingy. And of course, she is obsessed with hating on him. But they are getting on better than they were to begin with. So that's great. But eventually, I'm hoping that they'll have a loving friendship but for now yeah you can see how it's going it's great to finally see the tiles on the roof it's been a really good week and I'm really hoping that next week fingers crossed please everyone we get the Veluxes in so if you've enjoyed this week's video give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next week